So the fuel tank has returned and it's got a big box on it. It's got a big box it. on it. <laughs> <laughs> and the whole reason for it is um, we've got everything in one unit. It's universal, it's got spring loaded. Pump is in the car, no loud pumps, everything's in the tank. So this will go in there and that squishes down into there. So if you push it, it's all spring loaded, so it sits on the bottom. Uh, that's gonna come up through the boot floor and then we'll run the lines nicely back under the car. Yeah. So that's gonna be nice and neat. So I've got to prep the tank to paint it. There's just a lot of prepping today. Yep. Because we're not working on it today, we're just prepping everything. So then tomorrow when we get into it, it's just full steam ahead because everything's already painted and cleaned. Yep. So... But this looks good. So, what is it, Nate? The, the ring gets supplied in the kit from Castle Main? Yeah, the ring, gets, the ring is in the kit. Uh, that, and that's the whole kit there. So the ring is in the kit. You've got to box it up. Um, because obviously, HQ tanks are really shallow. Very as, shallow. As you can see. Look, it looks you, good. You can modify that unit so it sits more lower. Yeah. But we didn't want to modify it. We just wanted to just do that. Like, yeah. It's got to go through the floor anyway. So what's the difference? Yeah. <laughs> No, so yeah, I'll paint this up. It's really clean inside the tank. Like, is it? Uh, yeah, I didn't. I didn't even have to flush it. Right. I was planning on buying the flush and paint kit. You can buy a kit that paints the inside of the tank and yeah. cleans it. But I don't even need to do that. Like, look at that. That's mint. <laughs> look, I wipe the floor. Nothing. That's pretty good for HQ tank. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna get into it. Yeah, we're gonna get into it. So I've got four coats. I've chosen to go a hammer tone, like I've done with the sway bar. It's got four coats on it, it's got the heater on it. And it's come up pretty good. It's got that kind of hammery tone finish. I still gotta do the tank straps and then ready for put the tank in tomorrow. All right, what are we doing? We're gonna finish the HQ. <laughs> so the fuel tank is ready to go in. Yeah, fuel tank's been painted. Cleaned, straps are all painted, the underneath all painted, um, gun metal finish. So it's gonna look awesome. This fuel tank is the only fuel tank I know to ever have this amount of detail put into it. I know, this amount of work and, and effort. I even painted the cap, for God's sakes. <laughs> Did you do your red, no, red I lettering? I was gonna fill the knot vented in red, but thought I'm going a little bit over. I actually have red paint, you know that, yeah? Yeah, I know, but you, we don't have a dropper to drop it in there. I have a very thin brush. Do you? Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna do it then. Alright, so <laughs> what we need to do is we need to get this on the hoist, we need to take the diff out, and then we've got to go back to Mars. We've got to put our suits back on because we've got to sand <laughs> all the underneath, the back half. Yep. So we're going to try to cheat, do this the dodgy way, or otherwise known as the hack chop way, <laughs> and see if we can angle the diff, the axle out to get a spring out. <laughs> Is it working? Yeah, look. <laughs> that flex though. More flex than a More flex cruiser. Than a cruiser. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just strong. And that's how you get the springs out of a HQ. Yeah, this is yours. Thanks. Alright. Keep on rolling, baby. This is what Nathan has been waiting for since we started this build. First thing you do when you get a car. Right? It's, it's every per car guy's dream is you cut the exhaust off and you take the springs out to see what it looks like. And then you go, well, I can't drive it like this, so you put the exhaust back on and then you put the springs back in, but it was all worth it. Tuck, 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 tuck. Oh! <laughs> this is going to be us rolling off the burnout pad. <laughs> I wish the front was lower. I wish we had to left it down and slammed. I know, I it. Can we just appreciate for a minute just how good a HQ rear end slam looks? And yes, we know the indicators are the wrong way around. <laughs> we didn't put them in. Down. Down. <laughs> that was easy. All right, so diff is out. Take the bump stops out, and then Nathan's getting back on the grinding wheel. And <laughs> it's Michael's turn today. <laughs> I'm going 
cover that, patch that hole. Whoa, Jesus. <laughs> <sighs> Welcome. So over here's the kitchen. <laughs> this is the roof access. <laughs> Skylight. <sighs> this is gonna suck. You know what I think we need? I think it's time we call on him. It's PB man! <laughs> oh man, this is too tight! <laughs> oh. So, as you all watched last week's episode, I got the shit job. Now it's Michael's turn. Alright. <laughs> See ya! See ya! <laughs> Have fun! <laughs> you look like you got uh, Hugh Jackman sideburns. <laughs> I'm not even halfway done yet. Really? That sucks. So while Michael's doing the floor still, I've decided to do something that's very not essential. Uh, and definitely not needed, definitely not factory, but I painted that. All right, while well, Nathan's been stuffing around, <laughs> I've been busy. And as you can see, I've got next to all of the dirt and grime off. And now we're ready to give her a coat of paint. <laughs> Actually, I kind of want to see where you're at. Uh, all finished up now. Wow, that is honestly, that's a booty by the way. A job that I'll be glad to say that I never, ever want to do again. I think it's kind of one of those jobs where you do it once to save money and then it's kind of like, yeah, <coughs> nah, you pay someone to do that yeah. shit. And honestly, if I was to do that again, I'd just buy a sandblaster. Yeah. Grinding is too hard. It's a massive job, but you know, it's what you do, isn't it? So the floor's all done. Like we're waiting for the diff now. Tank can go in, but I think we'll do the tank after we get the diff, or I don't know, we can put it in. in. Uh -huh. Line it up. Yeah. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Damn it. Scratched it. Straps. What looks good is these high gloss straps that he's done. Look at them. They're so glossy. <laughs> he's had better paint on them than my car though. <laughs> is there a bolt that goes through here, is it? Yeah. Should we put the bolt in? Where's the bolt? <gasps> Don't tell me it's in the boot. It's in the it? It'll still hold it up there. It'll still hold this up because it's slid. Oh no, it's not. <laughs> Damn. Is it actually in the boot? It's actually in the boot. How do you know it's in the boot? Because I bagged the bolts and labeled it tank bolts and put it back in the Hello Fresh bag. <sighs> I, I labeled things and put them in the box so we know where they are. It's gonna be right up there, isn't it? It is. <laughs> it's way up there in there. Oh, I got it here. Oh look, Nathan dropped some bolts. Lovely, that's a tank installed. One drop tank installed. Drop tank. <laughs> look at that. Let me just appreciate the effort. You happy? I'm wrapped, mate. I gotta clean this bar up though, it's a bit, a bit grimy. So we've got our wheels. Our rear wheels have come in. We've got a set of 255 60 R15s. Uh, big thanks to Tony for mounting the tyres up and buying the tyres. They're big boys. They are huge. Should we put them on? Yeah, let's sit them under. Yeah, perfect. I think it needs to be lowered. Oh, you okay? <laughs> That's better. Go full slam it, full airbag. That's That looks awesome. I don't even know if we're going to go that way with the 9 inch. <laughs> <laughs> that, that looks looks awesome. Good. Oh man. The front's a little high. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, now you can justify how high the front is. Yeah, now you can actually see the, yeah. the difference. 
There's uh, plenty of clearance though. Um, yeah, well, surprisingly, considering how big the wheel is. Yeah, like there's plenty of clearance on the inside. There's heaps of room in there considering yeah, just that. how big the wheel is. Hopefully uh, we can get it that low. I want it that low, or at least airbag it like that. <laughs> if I take the audio out of this, it would legit look like airbag. <laughs> we could watch this all day, couldn't we? We could title this video, How to Break a Hoist in five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> what is it with a set of wheels and just making cars? They do look good. They really suit the style. Yeah, they do. That 80s sleeper, or well, 80s racer type style that yeah, we're going for. Yeah, kind of like an 80s racer, yeah. So today is a freaking awesome day because we get up early. It's because we were too damn excited. We went, went down to Castle Main Rod Shop as soon as they opened, basically, and knocked on their door. And we picked up our brand new diff. So, if anybody's wondering whether this budget build was going to get any more of a budget build, here's your answer. <laughs> <laughs> so, what it is, it's a 9 inch. Forgive me if I'm wrong because I don't remember the figures off the top of my head, but we have a 9 inch, 3 7 diff gears, uh, 31, in, 31, 31 spline, spline axles. axles. Uh, and we've, we've used the HQ stud pattern. HQ stud pattern with the wheel, wheel woods as well too, with the wheel woods. <laughs> <laughs> um, and they look freaking awesome on it. And Viking coilovers as well. Yeah, so the Viking coilovers same as we went with the front end. Um, don't know exactly what the specs are yet, but we'll get to that. Because we will get the box this time and say what the specs are. <laughs> people keep asking me at the front and I don't know. But it's just a good looking bit of kit, isn't it? Yeah. But it's freaking huge! Look at the size of it! So we're pretty damn excited. We've been waiting for this for a little while now. So along with the diff came this box of goodies as well too. Yeah. I can see instructions already, so that's good. <laughs> Super Pro bushes. And then that's our sandwich plate for the rail that bolts the coilover. Oh yeah. So as you have seen before, the coilovers have probably basically been the same thing as the front. Lots of bolts and bracketry. And then it's just as simple as our upper and lowers. That's it. There's not much to it, really. Um, there's not much to it. All I know is it just looks absolutely beautiful. Look at the size of this thing. It just looks monstrous. <laughs> now, if they could just make one for a fair lane, it would be sweet. Don't scratch it. Once again, our baby springs. <laughs> it's so little. Hang on, before... So, Viking 8DP250 is the spring. And the shocks, Viking C204. Look at the spring next to the... <laughs> <laughs> it's so <laughs> tiny. So, the original bolts go back in for the tops. So, we just clean them up. They're going in now. It looks so new and pretty under here now. Not bad. Oh, nice to meet you. <laughs> oh, nice to meet you too. <laughs> that flex though. So we're mounting up the coilover brackets. So they just sandwich on like so. And then these go through here. So they're adjustable, so you can move them up and down. So that's how you adjust your ride height, basically, which is pretty cool. This is a shiny bit of kit. All right, that's one in. All righty, so now we're gonna sit that in, make sure it's all lined up, and then we'll drill the holes. Done. We now, know it fits. So now we need to, we know it fits, good. So now we're gonna drop the diff as low as we can, and we're gonna drill those holes out. Yep. Oh. Alright, am I going for it? Mark is ready for the big drill. Come on. Maybe should have pilot drilled it. Oh, oh that's not too bad. These are my good drill bits. The ones that I never ever use. <laughs> 
A lot of people probably already know about this, but get yourself a can of this CDT cutting oil. It's freaking awesome. It protects your drill bits so they don't wear out as quick and just makes, it makes cutting so much easier. Get some, trust me. Tuttle tools, definitely worth it. I use it for everything, but I'm pedantic with my drill bits, so. Most people probably don't care, but I do. You've got to write a permit before you use any of Michael's drill bits. Yeah, you've got to fill it out. Yeah. You've got to have um, your training as well. It's just easy if you bring your own. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've got the bolts through. They took a fair bit of work to get them lined up just to make sure that we got them nice and accurate. Because the issue is we ended up drilling from this side, but we did try and put some pilot holes in through the other side by just getting a drill. We just got the smallest drill that we could get and just drill in from this side once we marked it um, and tried to get the hole as exact as possible. And then we just drilled through from the other side with the big hole and that seemed to work pretty good. But I would say the easiest way to do this would to get a right angle drill. Mm, right angle drill, because it's pretty tight up here with that bracket in the way. So a right angle drill will be able to get square on with it. Yeah. Um, it took us a bit to get through, didn't it? Yeah, it took a fair bit of work just yeah. to get it right. But it's all in, bump stops are in. All right, so now we're time to put the coils up and I really hope this fits. I do too, why does it look close to everything? <laughs> All right, let's do it. Let's jack it up. Let's lift her up. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Stop. Hey, I'm gonna go off a bit. I don't care about you. I'm in. I'm done. See ya. Dips in. What about me? <laughs> it isn't fair. I haven't heard my ball since not feel it fair. I don't care, my size in, so I'm done. <laughs> Ash. You're just gonna lift the wheel up from there? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's ready to take the center lines. Dun, no dun, dun. Oh, they look so big in there. <laughs> so right now Nathan is going to set the rebound and compression. So he's concentrating very hard and counting. He clicks. 12, 11, D2, 1. Talk to us Nathan, talk to the people. They want to talk to you. What number are you up to? 18, there we 18. go. Oh. <laughs> so what's this gonna do? Is this gonna be race mode? Um, this is gonna be the same as the front, so ridiculously stiff. <laughs> <laughs> Just so we can have it as low as possible. Are you ready? I'm ready as I can ever be. Woo, it's exciting, look at it. <laughs> Looks sick though. Damn, son, that's low. Hey, and it fits. It's not touching it yet. Yeah, they do fit. <laughs> it's got a variety like crap like that. <laughs> Alright, the bump stops need a little nip. <laughs> Alright, let's push it out. Off you go. Oh, it's actually not that bad. This is a glorious moment. It's back on its wheels. Let me put the handbrake on. Oh, wait, it is done. <laughs> that's tomorrow's job. <laughs> <laughs> that looks awesome. That that um, tuck is awesome. Yeah, that's his perfect day. That's how I really wanted it. If it wasn't riding so high in the front, it would look even better. Yeah, maybe just might lower the rear a little touch more, eh? Lower the rear? It looks fat, doesn't it? Yep. Good work, man. Good work. Well done. All in all, it wasn't a... Well, it was a pretty easy install apart from the holes. The holes are probably the trickiest bit. The and holes you, are the trickiest bit. And if you had the right tools that you could actually use a right angle drill and get in there, yeah, it'd be a pretty easy install. But yeah. everything else went together really well. Yeah. The measurements, because it is a narrow diff as well too. Oh yes, so it's narrowed 15 mil overall, so seven and a half mil each side. Yeah. We've taken out of it, which I know it's not much, but it puts the wheel in the middle of the guard. Yep. So there's no tubbing or anything. Uh, we didn't want to tub it. Um, so it puts the 255 directly in the middle, which there's like that much room each side. Yeah, it just So fits. it had to be narrowed to what we wanted perfectly to fit. Yeah. And, and it fits good. Like you've got pretty good, like you can fit your hand in there, clearance. 
Yeah, and it's um, the same on the inside as well same. too. Same on the inside, yeah. So, yeah. So it fits really nicely. It's the end oh. of the day for us. Yeah, that's it's, it for um, today. It's time for a kombucha. Kombucha? It's time for a kombucha. I wish it was time for a kebab actually. I could really go for a kebab oh. today. But, uh, she looks good. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Did she just steal the just tap? The tap. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to give himself an enema over there. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, that's it for today. Until next time. Until next time. Until the next day. Until the next day. <laughs> yeah. It'll swing right down now because these arms, so we can come right down. And then drop those arms and then just down. So we go down, 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 and down. <laughs> no, come on. Oh, God. <laughs> just the right time. Quick, 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 quick. Stop that. <laughs> It's <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, do that again. <laughs> you know how it's always like, we got spice to fly, metal to burn. <laughs> In the next episode of Master Garage. <laughs> you know what a TikTok fan? No. TikTok. TikTok. How good are these benches?